Hey, what's up, guys? Apple Seven here, and today I'm bringing you guys another. Hey, what's up, guys? Apple Seven here, and today I am bringing you guys another. I still, I can never say the word bringing. I don't know why. What's so hard about the word bringing? Today I am bringing you guys another video, and in this video I'm going to be reacting to. Raito's newest theory called We've Solved Security Breach Ruin. I've not reacted to a Raito's video before. I've reacted to Game Theory, I've reacted I've reacted to FNAF, and now I'm reacting to Raito's. I, I don't um <laughs> I've never reacted to a Raito's video before. I've watched a few of them and uh they're usually pretty good quality. Uh I like his cat a lot, uh <laughs> and um I, I don't always agree, but I do uh think that his theories are interesting. Uh, and he seems like a cool dude. I love his hair. <laughs> but, uh, I, I just saw this yesterday when it came out, and I was like, that that's an interesting video, because I, I looked at the thumbnail, right? And it had Susie in it, and I was like, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, so I decided, hey, why not react to, to it? And then, I, even, like, for the first time, or not the first time, some people have told me to react to Raito's videos before, but I just haven't. <laughs> um, but for it hasn't happened for a long time. Nobody's really told me to react to a Raito's video for a long time. Uh, but then, yesterday, while I was thinking about reacting to this video, somebody told me to, to react to it. And uh, I was going to anyway, so... I'm I'm interested in what he's gonna say because it's it's about the Ruin DLC girl uh, and I feel like there's not enough evidence really to tell us who it is besides just like her design so I guess we'll find out what he's gonna say let's go I think we've solved exactly who this girl on the Ruin poster is and it's all right nobody expected not okay. even myself there's no time to delay so slices put on your aprons. Let's make ourselves Slices. a theory. First, let's gather our ingredients. Now, the astute amount of people always makes toast that jokes. I solved who this ruined girl was like a month ago when I was covering GGY. But upon reevaluating that, I really only had one piece of evidence. A girl was directly huh. described who kind of looks like the poster girl. That's it. Bada bing, bada yeah. boom, loose. I'm pretty sure he's talking about the girl that was playing Fruity Maze or whatever. I wanted to expand upon that idea because in retrospect, I think I don't remember we can get a lot closer or at least a lot stronger of a theory as to who the girl in the ruin poster is. Mm -hmm. As long as we take He's going to say it's Susie. To delve but into the mystery here. At the very at least, least probably. we'll try to solve this pretty convincingly so that way in a week Steel Wool can come out and give us a new ruin teaser and completely disprove the whole thing because honestly I don't even care at that point. It gives me more content to talk about, and I need yeah. more content <laughs> for the content gods. Anyways, <laughs> let's go over all the details we get about her and the poster. And Just him doing content gives me content for me to react to him, so... In sense of physical descriptors, we are admittedly lacking. What do we, we know about We have Ruin? a rough outline of a young girl in a sweater and skirt, pigtails, and seemingly blonde or otherwise lightly colored hair. She's also apparently wearing light-up sneakers, and those lights are the only color on her entire person red and purple because mm -hmm. the rest of her is in a black and white grayscale that however is it now watch as i stretch that for a whole 15 minute video okay actually <laughs> though in lieu of proper and useful details about the girl on the poster herself let's gather some more information on what she's surrounded by just in case it's relevant a room yeah. pizza plex some screens showing gregory one of them saying help me two pairs of eyes in the ceiling and this melty gooey glam rock chica off to the side still not a great also some details, blob looking wires at the bottom let's right be honest here before help wanted this is honestly more detail about a character than we've had about most of them it's FNAF after all things are gonna be vague at yep. this point let's just round up all of our possible options that we can think of for this girl and see which one fits most cleanly up for debate as far as I'm aware Elizabeth Afton Charlotte Emily Amelia the girl mentioned in the GGY novel is that her, is that her name fit a brand new character I guess so let's go down the list or Susie apparently and see what kind of theories start to form First, one of the more popular theories is that this girl is Elizabeth After. I don't know about that. Robotic or spiritual I've form. Thought about now, that. I know that sounds wild, but let's unpack that and go over the positives and negatives of this theory. The positives, I think it's possible. The hair color presumably matches. Sure, we can't see exactly what the color of the poster girl is. It looks hair like it would is, be blonde. But it's at least similarly lightly colored. Next, mm -hmm. she's an Afton. This series is obsessed with Aftons and makes them lore or plot relevant. Because yeah, of the main characters of the series after all it is mostly about this family so being an afton Oops. does make you more likely to be involved with the story and three sorry my room is really dark 
for some reason the light just doesn't work. Um, it, it's just been burning out recently, even though uh, yeah, I've, I haven't had it for that long. But I, but, um, but because it, my room is dark, I literally have my phone flashlight shining light at my face. <laughs> And I also have Streamlabs on Discord light, uh, or not Discord, on uh, on light mode. I ha I have uh, Streamlabs on light mode, so that it like emits some light onto my face. <laughs> so I have to side note. Anyway, what he's talking about. So Elizabeth being the ruined girl, it does match her skirt. It does match the the like her hair color. That's about it. Um, there's not really that much to go off of based on the girl. It could be. It could be Elizabeth. I've said that before that it's possible, um, but I, I don't really know for sure. Like, like we've been saying, like he said in the video, and like I said just earlier, we don't really have that much information about her. We just have like vague design details. So it's not like robot children are off the table when discussing FNAF theories. We see something very similar in the Silver Eyes novels mm -hmm. and hints to it in the Sister Location game. That all being said, the negatives for this theory are pretty straightforward. We have no direct connection as to why or how any Elizabeth Afton would be here. The only drawn connection that we have, to be honest, is the hair color. And even that is technically speculative. I used to think Elizabeth was a lot more important to the security breach story because of, um, because I thought she was patient 46. And I think the, the evidence for that was always pretty strong. And I think it still is pretty strong, but we know Gregory is patient 46 now. So I don't really know if Elizabeth is important. Well, that's a lie. I think she is important regarding Vanessa, um, which I'll talk more about in my FNAF timeline when I get to that point. Speaking of my FNAF timeline, by the way, yesterday, the first part came out. And by yesterday, I mean today, the day I'm recording this, and yesterday, the day that this video goes out. Um, I, I released part one of three of my FNAF timeline. So, go check that out if you have not yet. I think I bring up some in interesting points. You may not dis- you, I'm sorry, you may, you may agree, you may disagree. It's- it's- it's subjective. I mean, I- well, it's not really subjective, it's just like- we don't have the story so it's subjective for us <laughs> you know what i mean it's not subjective for scott scott knows what's what's true scott knows what's wrong i'm probably wrong in at least a few things but i think i have a pretty i have pretty strong evidence and i think my timeline is pretty good so far um and most people ha have agreed uh there's also there's some disagreement like with the midnight motorist and stuff um, but I, I will be continuing the timeline, of course, with, uh, part two, which will be out hopefully pretty soon. I haven't started the script yet because I'm working on a couple other videos before that, but, uh, this is one of them. <laughs> uh, and I also have a video coming on the mimic leaks, which is very interesting. Uh, not going too deep into it or anything. I know I'm getting distracted from Racto's video, but, um, just wanted to say that. Just wanted to shout out my timeline. <laughs> Furthermore, while within the franchise we do have examples of robotic replicas of humans, the games only ever vaguely hint to that as an existence, never outright stating it to be true. Like sure, in Sister Location we get these creepy human faces, yeah. and Vanny is said to be ordering realistic latex rubber face masks, but other than that we have no direct or concrete examples of animatronics meant to be human. This game Gregory. series has no direct mentions of any robot kids. I mean, except for Balloon Boy, I guess, but the idea of him being real confuses and frightens me. Regardless, she doesn't feel compelling, so for now, we'll cross off her name. Oh man. I don't think there's a problem with her. Honestly, it is being the ruined the uh, the, girls, the ruined girl, but this I don't know. Called, what I is the oh, oh, this is his ad. I saw this uh I think. I haven't encountered a monster yet. Right. <laughs> and in eight in the right direction. I haven't even. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is an ad, so I'm just gonna skip over that. <laughs> all right, let's continue. It's a little weird. Don't know what I'll use it for, but what it the could come in handy. What you gonna do with that ruler, bro? Next up on our Fight. list, okay, sure. suspects is Charlotte Emily. Charlotte. And frankly, I think her chances are even worse than Elizabeth. Yeah, I don't really think there's still, much evidence for her. Let's go over all the details. The best case of evidence for her to be this poster child is that she is the only confirmed case in the entire series to have a robotic replica built about yeah. her. Yeah. I mean, that's what the entire Silver Eyes novels are about. Charlotte Emily dies way before those books ever happen. The character we see as Charlotte Emily is the robotic recreation of her. Yeah. The Henry we see in the books built several differently aged Charlie robots in his grief after losing Charlotte, in the hopes to keep up the facade of a family. 
That being said, it also tracks that Charlie would want to stop Afton. After all, in the games, her spirit is constantly helping the victims of Afton, and she keeps coming back. Yeah, but we don't really know what this girl's like. We don't know what this girl's goal is. Like, it could be that she's actually the bad one. Um, uh, the, we were, when security before Security Breach came out, we got teasers, right? Of course, on Scott Games, and one of these teasers was for Vanessa, we leading us to believe that she would be the protagonist. But then Gregory ended up being the protagonist. I feel like this ruined poster is doing the same thing. I don't think that we're going to be playing as this girl. I feel like we're still going to be playing as Gregory. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like we're being led to believe that she's the protagonist when in reality she won't be like Vanessa. I could be completely wrong about that, but Gregory is also the villain, whether you believe it's like a different robot of him, but a version of Gregory at the very least is technically the villain. So, so it's, possible that we'll be playing as her if she is the villain um but we don't know whether she's the villain or the good guy so it, it, it could go either way so we don't really know what her goals are it could be charlotte so or, or it could be elizabeth it could be either one whether elizabeth trying to help her dad or charlotte trying to stop him or just robots of them that don't know what the hell to do <laughs> and follows soon behind wherever he goes that is to say even in a deficit of evidence to link her to this poster her motivations line up perfectly However, the problem we don't with know this that, theory, though, in my opinion, are just as compelling. As mentioned before, there is no in-game direct evidence of robotic children. It, there just isn't. More than that, though, in every depiction of her, Charlie looks nothing Completely like different, this poster yeah. girl. The hair is just too light. Although, I guess the pigtails somewhat match. It, it's yeah, but she doesn't, doesn't usually have pigtails. Well, she don't, I, think now, the, I think she only did, like, once. I now could be wrong. Maybe she did. Book girl I that I keep harping about. Well, <gasps> big toe girl. <laughs> there's this weird one-off moment where basically an entire page is devoted to describing this girl. I'm gonna make a prediction for what he's gonna say. I think he's gonna use Fruity Maze as a segue into saying Susie. <laughs> While she's getting angry at the Fruity Maze arcade machine, she's described specifically having pigtails and quote the strawberry blonde girl dressed in all black. Parentheses. The hair and the strawberry blonde girl at all. Tony thought she was also seen yeah, wearing shouting, a black You did not just do that to the machine. But to be fair, that quote could just be some gaming rage. It's hard to tell. After that, she keeps kicking the machine and is eventually kicked out of the arcade. So what about Amelia? Well, physically, she matches the bill nearly perfectly. Lightly colored hair, pigtails. Her hair looks more blonde, though. Of her clothing we get is all black. This outfit could very well suit her. Hell, this grayscale could just be hiding that she's wearing all black. That, and she is a mentioned and- Well, I mean, if she was wearing all black, then I don't think the shirt would be that light. That's the thing. Because if, like, even when things are black and white, you could still tell, like, relatively what colors they will be based on, like, the lightness. It's hard to tell, obviously. You can't tell exactly most of the time but you can but you can tell that that's not black <laughs> so fully described full page character in a story as lauren but i mean obviously because you wear different clothes for this for those who don't know ggy was the story that confirmed that gregory, gregory was patient 46. 46. however to be fair she is just a character in a spin-off story she kind of just shows doesn't up. imply game canonicity at all to be honest and there are no mentions of well tales is in the game <laughs> cross her off but tentatively for now yeah. briefly and finally yeah. the last option a completely new character okay While he didn't use it a as a segue maybe he still will it is frankly the most likely after all the poster maybe. presents her as a new character so why wouldn't it be and frankly that's all the concrete evidence we have unless there's something else on the ruin poster that can point us in a certain direction we might just have to stick with chica this. being on the there's poster really probably nothing else to tell us Wait, Chica? Chica's the only directly shown animatronic on that poster. Do any of our characters have a relation to Chica? Elizabeth? No, not at all, really. Chica wasn't even in Ennard, so Elizabeth and Chica don't mix at all. Charlotte was the one who put Susie into Chica, so yeah. there is that. But she kind did of. that with the other four animatronics, really. so it's not a super strong connection either. All that leaves us is Amelia. Amelia? Of course, the, it all makes sense now. Slices, we have to pop this mixture into the oven right away. Because she played Fruity Maze. Kind of rise. The little girl on the poster made to promote the Security Breach Ruin DLC 
is Susie. Hear me out. And keep in mind, it's probably most likely a parallel or someone communicating with Susie, not literally Susie. But Susie, I mean, it could the be ghost Susie. who possessed Chica, is the main character of Security Breach Ruin. And it all comes down to Amelia. What game was Amelia playing in GG1? Fruity Maze. Fruity Maze. The exact same game we see Susie, who has blonde hair, playing before William tricks her, using her recently dead dog, to go into the back room and kill her. After all, as Susie lets us know in Ultimate Custom Night through Wither Chica, she was the first. She was the first. And I interpret that as the first of the missing child yeah. incident. Playing Fruity missing Maze children. GGY <laughs> was already a weird tip off. Yeah, I always found that weird. Up. But the thing that specifically draws my attention is her outfit. She's wearing all black. And the book specifically points that out and mentions that it doesn't go with her hair or look at all. It's a weird thing that she's wearing. And Tony knows Amelia in school. So presumably this isn't something she normally wears anyway why would she wear an all-black outfit at the arcade at the pizzaplex what possible event would you need an all-black outfit for a funeral or a seance that plus the way she was talking to the fruity maze machine makes it seem like there was much more going on than just a fit of rage induced by losing at a game she was mad about something somebody did quote you did not just yeah. do that Either Susie is huh. communicating to Amelia and telling her her story, or maybe she even possessed Amelia. It's hard to tell. Like you're the band? such a strong connection between Amelia and Susie. And if that's not enough evidence, look at the most we got for Ruin. Of all the animatronics to showcase, Steel Wool chose Chica. Chica, the very animatronic Susie was huh. stuffed in. Even more... We know that Amelia that is pretty has interesting. strawberry blonde hair, and the shoes in the poster glow red and purple. What are the three power-ups present and necessary to collect in order to beat Fruity Maze? A red magnet, a purple cape, huh. and a yellow lightning bolt. In some way, Susie is making her presence known. Or, I'm crazy, and that's <laughs> totally fair. At least we're talking about current non-rebooted games. If you want to talk about some hmm. rebooted past FNAF games, go ahead and check out last week's video about FNAF 4. But for real, if it's not Amelia communicating with Susie, who the hell is this girl? Let me know who you think she is in the mm -hmm. comments. And until next time, as always, stay toasty, Slices. Nice. All right. That was a pretty interesting theory. I don't know if I agree with it or not. I do find it a little bit... I, I think it's completely um, possible that she's anybody. Um, we don't really, like I've said, we don't really have that much information about her. It very much could be Susie. Um, I don't really know, though. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you guys think, who you think uh, the, the, the Bruin girl is. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you enjoyed this video or Raito's video or both, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah, and check out my timeline if you haven't already. See ya!